Seven most expensive buys on Pawn Stars. One hundred and eleven thousand dollars, two hundred plus pounds of silver. After being urged by his father to invest, one gentleman chose to buy almost two hundred pounds of silver. By the time he strolled into Rick's business, twelve years had elapsed since his investment, and the price of silver had risen dramatically. With a predetermined profit margin, Rick knew he could sell it right away. So after some examinations to confirm the silver was pure, including some drilling, he was thrilled to buy the trove for the princely sum of one hundred and eleven thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars, two thousand fourteen Hertzpensky GT Mustang. In two thousand thirteen, Hertz announced a collaboration with American entrepreneur Roger Pensky to build one hundred and fifty limited edition Ford GT Mustangs. When a gentleman brought Rick one of the first ten ever made, Rick requested professional NASCAR driver Joey Logano to take it for a test drive. Rick, satisfied that everything was in working shape, agreed to a price of sixty thousand dollars, ninety thousand dollars, nineteen sixty-one Gibson SG Les Paul guitar. This unique guitar belongs to American guitarist Mary Ford, who was married to famed guitarist Les Paul. From 1950 to 1954, Mary and Laco wrote 16 top 10 songs and sold millions of albums. Les' solid body guitar design also significantly altered the sound of rock music. Already a unique instrument, made even more costly by its link to Les Paul, this would be Rick's largest guitar purchase of his career. Rick did well to buy it for just ninety thousand dollars, despite the owner's initial asking price of two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Eighty thousand dollars, nineteen twenty-two proof piece high relief dollar. The nineteen twenty-two high relief dollar, regarded as one of the rarest coins in American history, was brought into Rick's shop by a man who had won it in a poker game. The gentleman estimated the coin, one of only ten to twelve still in existence, to be worth roughly twenty thousand dollars. Rick had one of his experts look at it, and the price soared significantly, with a new estimate ranging from fifty dollars to one hundred thousand dollars. Rick and the man struck a deal for eighty thousand dollars, sixty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars to nineteen thirty-two custom Ford Roadster. Rick and Corey engaged in heated discussions with the owner of an immaculate jet black five hundred horsepower nineteen thirty-two custom Ford. The convertible Roadster was in excellent with only four hundred and fifty miles on the clock, and when Vegas saw a custom legend Danny, the Count Coca fell in love with it. Rick knew he had to make a sale. Which he did for sixty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, eighty-five thousand dollars, nineteen forty-one Gibson SJ two hundred guitar. This guitar was not just beautiful and unusual; it also belonged to a rock legend. Stephen Stills of the folk rock group Crosby, Stills and Nash held this piece of rock and roll history, which Rick immediately appreciated, as he said. That is cool. Rick had to dig deep to get his hands on this holy grail of Gibson guitars. Which came with a signed bill of sale from Stills himself. In the end, he was able to get it from the owner for a cool eighty-five thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars JFK cigar box. Rick had to have it when a man strolled into the gold and silver pawn shop with a piece of presidential history labeled as a once-in-a-lifetime item. The item was a cigar box that had formerly been on President John F. Kennedy's desk in the Oval Office. It also featured some unsmoked cigars. Given that another of JFK's cigar boxes sold for over five hundred thousand dollars in the nineteen nineties, Rick was onto a winner when he haggled this one off the gentleman for sixty thousand dollars.